hello and welcome back to aki quest in this tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how you can make your floor plan show in revit in case your floor plan mistakenly disappears it is not showing on a particular level you are on but you are definitely sure that it is supposed to show on that level but it is not showing so i'm just going to show you how you can get that to show if this is your first time joining our channel Welcome, my name is Grant, and in this channel, we dish out interesting architecture related content. Please do well to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video. Before further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so on my natural ground level, as you can see here, I have this floor plan that I have just created. Now, let's say I create more, more lines. I just click on CS and I create another line here. And I also create another line here, you know, good. Now I want to place my doors and windows now. So I go over to my DPC level because that's where I'm going to be placing the doors and the windows to this project. Now I come to the DPC level and I am not seeing anything. Now I've tried and tried and tried, select nothing. But if I come to the floor plan and make a selection, nothing. I can still click on ZX and it's not showing. Nothing is showing. Now, you, you begin to wonder what, what went wrong. So, the first thing you need to do, first of all, is when you're on your DPC level, is to check your visibility graphics to make sure that, okay, walls are checked on in your visibility graphics. So, you click on VG and it takes you to your visibility graphics. So, you scroll down to the walls or you just click on W, it will take you down to walls immediately. Now, you can see that walls are already checked on here. So, any wall that you draw in this place is supposed to show. And mind you, if I click on wall now here, and I draw a wall here now, I am going to see it. Now you can see, I'm going to see that wall. Now the next option for you to do is to come back to this natural ground level, select this particular wall, and look at the properties of this wall to see if it actually meets up to, uh, to be shown on the DPC level. Now as you can see, I've clicked on this wall. The base constraint is on the natural ground level, which means it started from the natural ground level. The top constraint is on the DPC level. So it stops at the DPC level. Good. Now you see, this is number one problem. So it's stopping at the DPC level. So there is no way you can see it on the DPC level unless you change the range base from none to natural ground level. That is when you can see a glimpse of it. But it's not like you can select anything. You can't select it. You just see the outline, but you can't do anything to it. Why? Because the walls have not yet crossed that DPC level. So you can just see the glimpse of it. But if you come back, let's change this back to none. And now it is gone again. So if you want to be able to make uh, effects to that floor plan, all you need to do is to select all the walls, change this from DPC level, let's say to first floor level. Good. Now, once you come to your DPC level, you will see everything that you've drawn in the natural ground level. Now, you can see everything. You can touch them. You can adjust them. You can, you can make any adjustments you want to make. Now, this is number one. Number two, you need to make sure it is not hidden. Per adventure, I hide uh, everything, hide in view uh, by category. I hide all the walls by category in this video, probably in the template while I was creating a template for it. Then after I finish drawing this, I come to my DPC level and I can't find any walls. You need to make sure it is not hidden. You need to click on this to show hidden details, to make sure that there are no walls that are hidden. That's the second step you need to do. So once you click on this and you find out that, okay, there are walls that are hidden, then you can just click on this, unhide them, by category and you can come back to your your project and keep working without any problems so this is the second thing you need to do if you find out that you don't you can't see your floor plan again now the third one is to identify the next problem now in this case i can see my floor plan on my natural ground level come to my dpc level i can't see anything but i can still see it on the 3d and i can know that the floor plan went from the natural ground level to the first floor level. So it is very high. So it's supposed to be showing on the DPC level. Come to my uh, east on, on the elevation, on the east view. I can see see where the DPC level is. I, can, I am supposed to see that floor plan there. You've made sure about all these things. Now, if you check 
all those three steps by VG, you go to your VG, click on wall to see that, okay, it's checked on one. So that is not the problem. You come to hidden and you make sure that it is not hidden. Nothing is hidden. You confirm that that is not the problem. Now, the next thing for you to do is to make sure you are not working on design phasing in Revit. Now, what do I mean? Now, let's come to the natural ground level. Now, you can see that these are, this is the floor plan on the natural ground level. You click on the wall and let's see. Now, you can see that this wall under phasing, this wall was created in an existing phase. Good. In fact, all of them are created on ex existing phase. Now, but if you come to your DPC level, your DPC level is on new construction phase. So, once you just switch this from new construction to existing you are supposed to see your floor plan. Simple as that. But if it's on new construction and you still want to see your floor plan, you need to make sure this is not in show new. Make sure this is in none. You would still see your floor plan. But the only reason, the only problem now is that whatever you draw now will be tagged a new construction uh, wall. So if you come back to your natural ground level, you will see the difference. So you can see how this one is grayed out and this one is uh, is very, very dark. So that's just going to be the difference. That's if you're working on a renovation project. But if you want all of them to still be okay, you need to make sure you convert all these existing walls, all these uh, walls created in the uh, existing phase to change them to new construction. Then everything will be back to normal. So this is how it works. Now, another step, the fourth step now to take note of is this. Now, prior as you have drawn your floor plan on your DP on your natural ground level, you come to your DPC level and you can't see anything. Now, you've checked the first step, which is your visibility graphics, VG, and you come to walls and you see that walls are checked on. That's good. You check the next step, which is your hidden details. You see that there it is not hidden. That's good. Now, the next step you need to check is the phasing. Now, you've checked the phasing. The natural ground level phase is on the new construction phase, show all. None. The new construction phase, none. And the DPC level is also on the new construction phase, none. So, they are supposed to, they are both on the same level. So, they are supposed to show. Now, the next thing you need to do, it, quite be, it, can, it can be quite small, but it, it's actually, <laughs> it, it usually stresses people out. So, the next thing to do is to make sure your uh, floor plan is not cropped out of the region. Now, how do I, what do I mean? Now, this is, you are on the DPC level. Now, you just need to click on this to show your crop region. Once you click on this, now you have seen your crop region. Now, this is your crop region. Now, you need to click on this to show do not to show do not crop view. What this means is any wall you draw outside of this crop region will show. Now, let me show you an example. So, I click on wall and I draw this one here now. You see now, this wall showed. If I draw a wall here, it's not going to show because it's outside of the crop region. But if I click on show... If I click on this, do not crop view, it is going to show me any wall that is drawn outside here. So I need to click on that so I will see if my floor plan is somewhere. But it's just because the crop region did not cover it. Now, as you can see, once I've done that, I can see my floor plan right here. It's just that the crop region did not cover it. So I can just adjust my crop region again to make sure everything sits perfectly in place so these are the four steps in which you can make your floor plan show in your revit interface if it's it is not showing if you find this video helpful or interesting please kindly hit the like button share this video subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video see you guys on our next video bye